how to create a login page on Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a login space or a login page within Squarespace. It is very easy and simple to do. In this video I am going to show you three methods. The first method is within the theme. It is very easy and very sophisticated. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to your Squarespace uh, website. You will select the website. Then within the website, you will have the option to create or to let the login or the sign up page appear. Here we have the website. On this theme, it is included. You click here on edit. And now we are going to click and edit site header. Here we have the navigation. These are the elements. I'm going simply to click on add elements. And as you can see, we have here the account. I'm going simply to click on here. I'm going to enable this and boom, we have a login page. When you click on it, you will be seeing everything. Now I will click first on save. Then let's go ahead and exit, exit the edit mode. Here I'm going to exit. When you click on login, it will be loading the website again. You click on login, it will show you the login information that we have. You click on sign out, for example, and here I have already signed in for the website. It will show up and refresh the website. As you can see, we have now the main page equipped with the login option. When you click on it, it will show you the welcome to the, your site title. We have here the email password and we have the sign in option. If you don't have an account, we can click on here and create your own account. First name, last name, email, password, recreate. And also they have the possibility to modify the uh, website or modify the email into the theme. This option is integrated in the theme itself. Now let's suppose that we don't have this option. I'm going to edit the header again, then simply I am going to manage the elements Add elements. Now I'm going to turn off this uh, method or the sign in uh, method. Click on remove right now. I'm going to click on save. Then I will click this editor. The second method is to go ahead and add a page, which is a member page or a member site. Now into the pages, as you can see here, we have the main navigation and we have the member sites. Here I have created a member site, but I'm going to show you how you can create a new member site. You click on the plus button. Here we have add member site. You can go ahead and see the different options here. Welcome home. This is the member site. Click on the first template and it will create the member site. Now we have this member site, as you can see, we have the pricing plans. You are going to uh, create a pricing plan or add a uh, to an existing plan if you have already created one. Create a new pricing. Here we have the name. I'm going to put, for example, gold only. The description. This is the description. Benefits included which is optional. You can add some benefits and you can modify them or you can remove these benefits will be right here. Checked over 20 hours of video content, uh, checked unlimited lifetime access checked. Also here we have the pricing. You can put a fixed amount. You can add or make a subscription plan here. We can put a subscription with a recurrency. For example, it is recurring or for each uh, a week, month or year. On also, you can put a free one, which allow access to pages and content for free. I will let it free. Now we have the included products. Choose the digital products you would like to sell in this pricing plan. We have a, dig or a member site. You can add a digital product for also which is the same one as before that I have created. And it is a member site. You can sign up, put a limit to the signups. You can enroll, put an enrollment dates and etc. 
and here you can add the products. This is the product uh, included. When you click on create, it will be simply added. Now, this is the, uh, you can also add a digital product sales page to your uh, content. You can go ahead and create it or dismiss it. Here for the paywall, we have the uh, page that will be shown to the people if they are not signed up. Welcome to member site. This page is only available for members. This is the name of the subscription that we have. And we have here the sign up sign right here. They will sign up and put the email, a password and the payment method if it is uh, paid. Also, we have here the login. If they click on it, they will be logged to their account. And here we go. That is for the paywall. Now for the member site page or home page, you can see here we have some content. You can add within that page some other pages. You can add, for example, a blog. You can see here a blog post like this, and it will appear like that. I will name it, let it named blog one. You will see here the shortcut of here on under the member site, member site homepage and blog one. You can add another page, for example, Let's go ahead and add a, a video page, for example, like that. And this is it. This is a demonstration of the video page. Here it is. It will be loading soon. It will take some time to load, but it will uh, be OK. Here we have the page settings. You can customize or make some settings for each page that are created on your member sites. For example, here at the blog, I can go ahead and put some page settings. We have the general page title, navigation title, this log. You can enable or disable the page, the number of posts. We have here the SEO, social image, feeds, advanced. And the same for the blog also. You can see here we have the same parameters. Now, from pages, you can also add some sections. For this page, I'm going to click on edit. Here we have, we can edit the site header, or we can click on this, and we can also add a section. For example, you can add a new section. Here we have the intro, contact about people, products, etc. Let's go for products. Here we have some uh, templates that can be added to this section. I'm going to add a section for the product like that and i will wait for it to be uploaded and here we have the section you can go ahead and make the section or customize it i'm going to uh, put here drag and drop it it is free to use you can make it uh, on whatever place you have you can put the link under that button or you can customize that button also you can add some sections and when you finish, click on save only. Here we have the member area loaded. Now let's go ahead and talk about the third method. If you don't like the first one and the second one, I have a new method for you. All you have to do is on the main navigation, you are going to add a new page. Click on here. I'm going to click on blank page. And then I'm going to put the name of this page, login. Simply. And then we have to let the name of it like that. I'm going to let it here. It will be a empty space or a empty page. As you can see, we have login. You can go ahead and put uh, or uh, put the navigation right here. You can put it at the end or from the beginning. It is up to you. Let's go ahead and modify this login page. You can add some sections. I'm going to put the uh, intro like that. You can add multiple sections, for example, this one. And here we go. Now, for the main thing that will make this uh, login section special or a login section, here we have the parameters on this gear icon. Click on it. And here we have the password settings. You can put a password to be required to access this page. I'm going to put, for example, a code for or a password for that page to be accessible. And this is a login page. 
the password will be shared for only the members that, for example, you want them to access to this page, uh, this specific page, and it is right here. To modify the placement of this, I'm going to edit the header. Right here, you can see, I can click on the navigation. Here we have the edit, and then I'm going to put the login at the end. And here we have it. That was very easy. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.